can we set up a CI CD pipeline for our infrastructure code? Now we are going to proceed to Jenkins. Yeah. Okay. It's you can see it. this is my Jenkins server, and I'm going to out my Lion Tech here, and this is my password. See that? So now I have been able to log into my Jenkins account. Okay, so at the moment. Yeah. Okay, so now let's come back here. What's a new item? Let's go to what? I want my telephone what? Telephone. Okay. Project two. Let's call this uh, liquid pipeline. And there we go. So now let's see what we have as. Okay, our source code. So we can look at here. Let's use uh, what source code are we going to use? Okay, <clears throat> okay, this is my infra. Let's go to right there, console output. So, what this is the repo we are going to use. Okay, so let's come back here. And now we are going to go ahead and add this in our project repository. So our project repo is this. Okay. Now we're going to go back and then configure our so it's the same project as we did last week. So we just want, we just continue from there. So come back here and I think. Okay, this is a project here, configure project. And of course, you can add the same work. Oh, this is my word, my. Okay. Telephone project. Okay. So if we want, <clears throat> we can add, you know, our Office 365 uh, webhook there. But that is not necessary. <clears throat> there is something we are going to do here. Right, so telephone has a lot of commands. Okay, so we are going to parameterize the projects. If this project is parameterized, then we are going to add a choice parameter. Okay, and here you're going to see you know what actions. I can run what telephone in it. Do format. I can do uh, for the date if I want, right? I can do plan. I used to apply. That's what add, you know, destroy. Okay. This is what these are the various choices that I can execute each time I want to run Terraform. Now, 
I also have the option to, okay, select how do I want this build to be triggered? That's what, let's do GitHub webhook. This is the default. This is what is used most of the time. Okay, webhook here is good. We scroll down. That's what, before source code management, select Git. And of course, we are going to provide, okay, the URL of our repository. It says we should uh, leave blank for any. Oops, hold on one second. Oh, that's what, leave it blank in for any branch, right? That's good. I'm gonna go test that. So I think we have our Jenkins file exactly the way it is. We are going to save and quit. So we can do a manual build here. I want to build, build with parameter. Let's do a telephone init, okay? And let's see. Okay, good. So I'll tell you why this is failing because, okay, it's what? It, it didn't find a branch. So it must build a branch. Let's go back. And we are going to go again and configure. Instead of doing any branch, let's work with two branches. I'm going to do add branch again, add branch, add what? Add the branch and call def, okay? We can take out this one. And now we are good here. Again, we can do a build, put in it, parameter is so what? So see that? So now it finds the source code. That's what, let's look at the options in the console outputs. See that? So, of course, it's running. It says it found an error. Okay, see that? So we can see, see? Okay. What we want to do now is to go and so what this pattern is failing at so see that a level of plan, right? It went through, but apply of course it failed. Why? Because what you always want to review before you do an apply in the working environment, right? No one person should be able to just trigger an infra pipeline and the infra just create no. So to what you want to always have what? Have this manual approval. So somebody has to review the plan first. So if I review the plan here and I'm good with it, I can what? Back to build parameter again. I'm going to now what? Apply. See that? I can apply. Okay? I can apply. So now let's go back to our source code. I'm going to open up this. Okay, let's go back here. Close window. Let's go back here. Okay, I want to exit. I don't have anything else I'm doing in this server. Exit again, I can. Exit, there we go. And so let's get into music order. Make the take of what? March 01 Terraform conclusion. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Let's see to match. Yep, yep. And we get what? Git clone our project in this case. Paste so let's go back again. I want to go and get the URL of our project again. So back to my project here. I can again go back to view to console outputs. I want to open this in a new tab. Oh, it's a good idea. Okay, and I can 
copy the URL. Now I want to clone this. Guess what? Let's just do a paste here. And of course, we have git clone. That is cloned. So now it's cloning the music folder, match first Terraform. Okay, conclusion. So now I can go to PS Code. And of course, I can close folder. And then we can, oops, not that. That's fine. Let's go to music folder. Okay, we have uh, March first. Okay, and that's our project there. Open this. There we go. So you can see uh, this is our project source code. Now we have selected git uh, webhook as our view trigger, but there's something else we didn't do, right? We, we have to come here and what? And add uh, the webhook. webhook. So see, I already have it here. It's very easy. Just what? Copy. Okay, this. And then of course, come back. Add webhook. Oops, so adding webhook, of course, is an admin tag. So I always have to go back and look at. Uh, okay, look at your code. In this case, 390.068. Oops. Hmm. 4660. Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay, great. So now the payload is often what? It's just going to be the URL of our Jenkins server like that. Now we have what? GitHub, okay. Hyphen web book or slash. And of course, application JSON is a content type. That's what, that's what, send everything and we create. Gonna see, so if you see a check mark, it means that Jenkins is communicating with, okay? And <clears throat> this particular aspect of automation is so important. Why is it important? because Jenkins has to be able to pull the code. Jenkins needs to be able to what? Needs to be able to speak with your source code management. Right, so in this case again, so what happens our is that, okay, so what now, anything that happened on this repository, Jenkins is going to be triggered. To be honest with you, this is not the best practice like do all events no it's going to stress the server so it's like configuring your dog to back okay to back and go after anybody in fact to back our back at everything if a rat passes at night it all start backing you know what i mean that's too much noise but of course we can do that so now we are good here Let's now go back and see how we trigger this. Here, we're on the branch master, so we can see there's a warning there. Ignore current context. That git bash is here. And we can work git status. Let's add, okay, why let's what? Touch PR. Okay, get again what? So this here. It adds it branch. I'll call it what depth, for example. And of course, I'm going to do it. Okay. Check out. 
dev. Okay. And then we can okay commit here git commit. Okay, I can say about PR demo. It's push. Okay. Origin dev. Okay. There we go. So we can go and check. So that says what it says. Uh, for anything that happens in the source code, okay, Jenkins should be triggered. See that? Now, the beauty of this pipeline is that it's always going to end at plan. So we can what? We can always review the plan and see if we are good with it. We never, see that? You can what? See that we can as so we can read, right? We can read everything that is going to be created. So infra structure problem what can never and should not run from end to end. No, right? It should be a continuous delivery. The need and must be okay, a review before the changes is milled. But here is 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 much, right? But of course, we can what we can see what is going to be created. Okay, we can see all of that. As we as we can see, okay, that's what and what. See that you create what S3 bucket will be created. We can see our tags. Okay, now if I want to, I have reviewed my infra. This is the right thing to do. So now, if I am satisfied with the plan, I'll go back to what? View parameter. Now I'll select apply. At this moment, this infrastructure is going to create. Understand? Infra is going to create. Oops, looks like, let's see what happens. Yeah. Let me to confidence. Also right for there. Hmm. Okay, okay, no such property. All right, and pipeline. Get to add. Okay, domain has written instead, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. Workflow error message, something's happening here. Let's see. So now, if you go back here, and what, let's check our Jenkins file. So we have plan, of course, action, action for auto approve. So I don't see anything that should be stopping that stuff from running. The ingress is good here. Let's go back. Oh, okay. So now let's come back here. So first what we have a push here. Let's do a pull request again. And you're going to see uh, that the pull request is going to be triggered again. So in most cases, right, um, Terraform is, you know, is, is programmed to run the apply when it changes is actually merged into master. Let's see here. So you can see, you go back here again. So you're going to see build number five. Okay, build is not been triggered yet. Okay, so now let's merge change and see what happens. 
come back here again. Nothing here. See that? Okay, this is not. So the sea locks. Okay, do the parameter fly. Hmm. That might fly. Looks like it's a very, very silly mistake somehow, but uh, I don't see the find out what the issue is. It, it tells me nothing. Sometimes Jenkins just behave, just go way wide because I don't know, but. Uh, there's nothing here that is Terraform related. This is a workflow action. Okay, maybe. Is there a spelling error with apply? Let's go back and check. But sometimes too, if you don't have configure here, action, yep, apply spells correct, right? That's it, apply and destroy, that's fine. So this what this is how you can okay trigger your pipeline. Uh, I don't know what's happening. This one is failing, but you normally it shouldn't fail because okay the same thing I ran last night and what it went through. Let's see, it's not going to fail. Let's see the same infrastructure is to apply. See that. So it's all what it's all the same source code. Let me see if something is happening here. If this creates, then it's just Jenkins giving us headaches. See that? So what? So this is what this is creating. And US is one. So this is what we want to be able to achieve, right? I don't know why the other one is not, but. It's all the same source code, you know, everything being the core. See that? It's creating. And of course, it's going to create. So everything we've done so far is very, very correct. See that? Success. It added. So now I can go and check. Okay, it should be in US is one. If you come here, we should what? We should see in US is one. You're going to see a couple of resources that we have. See that? My what? EC2 instance here. And what? My is 2 instance. No, what? See, so what? That script was able to install and set up SonarCube. See that? Automatically with infra such as code. And now, if I want to destroy this, it's very easy. Go back here, be the parameter we are going to destroy. See that? So it runs the same thing. So all the pipelines, okay, uh, trigger through our source code is going to end at plan. It's only when somebody has reviewed and merged the source code that the telephone apply is then going to run. Mm -hmm. See that? Of course, it was, it's not going to destroy the resources as well.
that. So, of course, it went through. Let's see if we can create one for our EKS. Okay. 